again and welcome to yet another tutorial. This time I want to look at <coughs> reducing noise and using the inverted layer mask. Now often when you get your photographs up you get noise on them which is a fair old pain. So uh, I've got this one here of the flame nebula and I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see horrible noise that is present. Zoom right in there and you can see lots of noise there which we don't want. So what I've done is I've applied um, noise reduction to it and then I've used the inverted layer mask. I've done this up here so if I click on um, this layer so you can see it, now you can see the difference it makes. There's without the noise and there it is right from the start so how do you go about that how do you how do you do this okay so let's get rid of our um, layer at the top here I'm just going to drag that to the little dustbin and get rid of it and we start with our noisy image which I'll zoom in on there so you can see all the noise so first step is to duplicate the background again drag it down to your little icon next to the rubbish bin then there we have our background copy our new layer this is what we'll be working with so now we want to apply um, noise reduction to this so to do this we go up to filter noise and reduce noise and uh, when we get in here I've set it to uh, a strength of 9. I've preserved details at 37 and reduced colour noise I've left at 53 and I've left sharpened details at 0. And that's in the basic settings up here. And if I click on the preview button, there it is without it and there it is with it. So that's done a pretty good job. But what I've also done, if you go into the advanced section here next to basic and click on that, and you click on per channel, which is opposite that, you've got the red channel and the green and the blue. Well, it's worth having a look at this because often uh, the red and the blue uh, channels have a lot of noise in them. So it's good to go into those and reduce the noise in there. So in the red one here, I've reduced it to a strength of, uh, I've put it up to a strength of 9%, preserved details has been left at naught. And in the blue channel, oh great, there goes the fire alarm. <laughs> Never mind, we'll just ignore it. There, it's off now. Um, someone's cooking chips again, I think. Anyway, so in the blue channel, I've set it to 7 so that's in the advanced section in uh, altering the channels there. Good idea to go and have a look and, ch and change your strength up there because often there's quite a bit of noise in there. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the basic settings again. We've done that. And I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go for that one and say OK. And if I click the icon, wait for my computer to catch up now, click the little there's the horrible noise and there's the noise reduced all well and good but what we'd like to do now is to use the inverted layer mask now to do that keeping the top layer here selected which we've done the noise reduction on we go to this little icon here next to the FX and uh, this is your add layer mask button so we click on that layer mask there and then when you've done that you will need to go back down here to your background click on that and what we're going to do now is we're going to use the keyboard and we're going to uh, make a copy of the background layer so what we're going to do is we press control and A so control and A um, and then we're going to pre press control and C and that copies it and then 
move your pointer up here and click on the right mast and press the Alt key and do it again. Then you're going to press Control V, Control V, and that will paste the background image into it. And then to invert that image, uh, you press Control I. Control I. There we go. So having done that, what's happening here now is that this mask is everything that is white in this mask will get the noise reduction filter that we applied and everything that is black will be protected so what we do is we go up to um, image adjustment um, levels and we, and we drag the black slider right down to the edge and the white slider up and remember everything that is white will get the noise reduction filter and everything that is black will not get the noise reduction will, will be protected from it. Okay, so if we look at what we've got here, everything that's white will get that noise reduction and everything that's black will be protected from it. Because white reveals and black conceals. So I'm gonna have a look. So if we zoom in here, there's our room with the noise reduced. Um, click on the little icon. There's what we had to start off with. So there's the horrible noise and after we've done that little lot, the noise is significantly reduced. And, uh, so there we go. That's reducing noise and using the inverted layer mask to apply it. Hope that was helpful to you. Um, and, um, if you get any questions or uh, problems, give me a give me a look in at my blog astrocasto.blogspot.com, and I'll be happy to help you further. And uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for looking, and we'll see you next time.